Now in this question we're asked to write this fraction in this particular format. We have 2x to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 all divided by x squared minus 1. We've got to show that it's identical to ax squared plus bx plus c plus dx plus c all divided by x squared minus 1 and state the values of a, b, c, d and e. OK, so where do we start? Well, first of all, what we can do is divide this polynomial on the top of this fraction by x squared minus 1 by doing long division, algebraic long division. And if you're unsure of this, you can look on my tutorials on my website, OK, under algebraic long division. So what I'm going to do is set this up as x squared minus 1 into, now you've got to be careful here because we've got 2x to the power 4 but we have no x cubed term so I'm going to write plus 0x cubed then we've got minus 3x squared and then plus x plus 1. So what we need to say is what do we multiply x squared by to get 2x to the power 4 and that would be 2x squared so I'd write that over there and now I multiply 2x squared with the x squared minus 1 and that would give me 2x to the power 4 so write that directly underneath that term and then I would have 2x squared times minus 1 which is minus 2x squared and you've got to be careful here it's got to go under this term here so that's minus 2x squared. I can bring this 0x cubed, if you like, down underneath here. I don't have to do that, but it just fills it out. And now what I've got to do is subtract these three terms here. I've got to subtract these three terms, I should say, from these three terms up here. So if I subtract that to find out the remainder, we have 2x to the power 4 minus 2x to the power 4. Well, that's clearly nothing. We've got 0x cubed subtract the plus 0x cubed, so that's nothing. And you've got to be careful here. Minus 3x squared subtract minus 2x squared. That becomes minus x squared. Now I bring down the next term, so that would be plus x, bring it down into there. And I ask myself, what do I multiply x squared minus 1 by to get the minus x squared here? And it would be minus 1, because minus 1 times the x squared would give me this minus x squared. So I carry out that multiplication, minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared and then minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 and again I've got to be careful I can't put the plus 1 underneath the x I put it further over here. In this particular example it might be a good idea actually to bring the plus 1 down as well. Now I've got to subtract to work out what the remainder is so we'll put a minus there. So minus x squared minus minus x squared. That is simply nothing. Then I have got plus x minus no other x here. So that's going to be simply plus x or just x. And then I have plus 1 minus this plus 1 which is going to be 0. Now because this power here, x to the power 1, is less than the power here, x squared, okay, this brings us to the end of the division. So what I have now is that I can rewrite this fraction. Let's just come down here. I can say therefore 2x to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 all divided by x squared minus 1 is identical to 
the quotient here, which is 2x squared minus 1. Let's put that in brackets. don't have to put that in brackets, but it's to look like this. And then I have got plus the remainder, which is the x here, all divided by the divisor here, x squared minus 1. So when I compare this to what we have to write up here, that is ax squared plus bx plus c plus dx plus e all over x squared minus 1. Let's put a bracket around that. Can you see I can compare the coefficients and I can see that a is 2, b is 0 because we haven't got any x term in here, so b equals 0. As for c, c is the constant and that constant is minus 1, so we have c equals minus 1. d, dx, we have 1x here, so d is going to equal 1. And finally, e, the constant here, we have plus 0 on the end here, so e is 0. Alright, so I hope you've been able to follow that. And as I say, if you're unsure about the division, just go on to my website on the tutorials and look under Algebraic Long Division.